Hi, hello, welcome back. I gotta turn off my AC. Ugh, hold on. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you have already been watching my videos, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you so, so very much. So we all know that feeling of whenever you're feeling really inspired or really motivated enough so that you actually make a plan for making some better action in your life or creating better habits in your life. You may feel inspired to start going to the gym, to start eating healthier. Maybe you've decided that you wanna get an extra practice session in every day or start working on ear training or whatever it might be. You've like got this goal set in front of you from feeling really inspired to do so. So you have this goal out in front of you. You set this intention, you have a plan. You're like ready to go. You're feeling great. You're feeling excited about it. You're super motivated, super inspired. Like it's all gonna go awesome. But then whenever it actually comes time to do the damn thing, like your alarm clock goes off an hour early in the morning so you can go to the gym or that reminder pops up on your phone telling you that you're supposed to get that practice session in this afternoon or sit down and meditate or whatever it might be, all of a sudden that super inspired, super motivated person is nowhere to be found. Instead of that really motivated, inspired person that made all these goals, you get this little tiny voice in the back of your head that says, mm, do you really want to go to the gym this morning? It's so early, the gym's probably crowded. Uh, this bed is so comfortable, we should just sleep in. I know that we plan on cooking a healthy dinner tonight, but uh, you're, you didn't plan on being this tired. Like Taco Bell though. Taco Bell? Okay, Taco Bell. Just kidding, I hate Taco Bell. Blech. Or whenever you see that reminder on your phone, that little voice goes like, but you don't feel like you need to meditate right now. You feel fine right now. Why would you meditate right now? You don't feel like you need it. You might think like, oh, well, what if all the practice rooms are for? Like, I already got in two hours of practice time today. Like, why do I need to do it this afternoon? I know they plan on doing it this afternoon, but like, why would I do it now? Like, I don't know if I have enough time to do it this afternoon. Basically what happens is whenever you have this cue to do this new unfamiliar thing that you know that you wanted to do to better yourself in some way, this little voice checks in with you and be like, mm, but really, do you really want to do that right now? That little voice in the back of your head is called the ego. And I don't mean the ego in the sense of like, you've got a big head and <laughs> you're full of yourself, but the ego and like your consciousness. And way back in the day, that would have kept you from being eaten by a saber toothed tiger squirrel or whatever was trying to hunt us. It was your voice of reason. It was your voice of, um, I feel uncomfortable and I need to fix this somehow. So that little voice in your head is meant to keep you comfortable. And from an evolutionary standpoint, that's a really great thing. That is what has kept us alive and kind of thriving above animals. But now, whenever you're trying to achieve a new goal or make a new habit, that's the same voice that tries to keep you comfortable and it keeps you from being uncomfortable and from trying these new experiences and creating these new difficult habits. <laughs> So here's the key. You cannot negotiate with your ego. Whenever that reminder goes off on your phone to remind you of that practice session that you wanted to get in that afternoon, just do it. Don't wait for your brain's chatter of like, oh, maybe I'll practice later or maybe whatever. Just shut it down. Do not negotiate and get it done. And when that reminder goes off on your phone to remind you to meditate, just sit down, get comfy, and get it done. And as you start to normalize taking action on your goals, following through with your intentions, executing on the things that you plan to do when you plan to do them, and not negotiating with your ego, not succumbing to the chatter of your brain talking you out of it and giving you a million excuses of why you shouldn't do that, as you familiarize this, it's going to become easier and easier to always make the right decision and to just act on the things that you say and think that you want to do. And so if you find yourself in that cycle, in that loop of always making plans to better yourself, making plans to have better habits in your life and not following through with those because of your chatter in your mind, always giving you an excuse why, rely on that rule. Make it absolute law for yourself. I do not negotiate with my ego when it comes to acting on my goals. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If this resonates with you, drop me a comment below. Also feel free to share this video across social media. That is very helpful and very meaningful to me. Go forth, be awesome. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Chase your damn dreams. And I will see you guys soon.